My name is Mark Charging. Uh, I'm 47 years old. Today I work as the Native American Fatherhood and Family Association's reentry specialist. I don't really recall too much about my childhood other than the, um, the abuse. And what I mean by abuse is not just the constant intimidation and, and threatening mannerisms of my father, uh, just constantly being in fear. Going into you know my childhood, I had a lot of firsthand experience with the abuse. It was really difficult, you know, to sit back and, and watch, you know, my father put hands physically on my mother. One instance in particular, uh, I can't remember the age, but I was a, a young boy, and my father had put hands on my mother, slapped her, and she cried, uh, asked for screaming for her dad, and I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, uh, you know, it was just so fearful, and my father yelling at me saying, hey, hey boy, don't let a woman talk to you that way. Don't you ever let a woman disrespect you. And so at a very young age, that's what I learned. We missed the mark by not identifying two of the most sacred things on earth. And that is your role as a father and your role as a mother. And when people have really understand it, not just know it, but understand it, they are much easier to work with. They're more, they're more motivated to change and improve themselves not just to have a family, anybody can have a family. We want our people to have families that are truly happy and safe. Learned behaviors and patterns, traditions, can all be wrong. All my life, I've been the abuser, I've been the intimidator, I've always been the kind of individual that would always say, I'd rather be feared than loved. A lot of people have not learned how to live a good life. They've learned how to survive because they may have been abused, neglected, abandoned, even molested, so they've survived. So let's teach you some basic things of how to begin to live again. Being able to do something like this and actually say, well, you know what, today, I'm not the individual that I used to be. You know, even though I was uh, living that way for so long, you know, the Native American Fatherhood and Family Association has given me, you know, the desire to not only change, but now being part of service in what we do. People that have, a lot of people that have been incarcerated, they say they're a survivor. I say, you know what, we've been surviving too long. We gotta teach you how to live again. And this is the clincher. We say, this is where you start, fathers. You start by bringing happiness and safety to your dear, dear wife, the mother of your children. That's where you start. For somebody like me, that's not real easy. You know, to be patient, consistent. There is no other job that is, that is more important than your role as a father or a mother. You come through, I'm gonna say what I went through, and what I mean by that is not just being incarcerated all my life in, in youth detention centers and boarding schools and um, state hospitals and psych wards, and that's all the stuff that I went through growing up because I'm gonna say that nobody would understand, nobody could get it. All major decisions in your life has a direct correlation back to your self-worth. You gotta see the value of who you are. All my life I've been told I was something else. In our program we have a class on domestic violence and we say what domestic violence is, it's true identity theft. Somebody has, is stealing or has stole your identity and uh, they want to replace it with, they want you to be what they want you to become, not what you want to become. The Native American Fatherhood and Family Association is about families first. We stand on your own goodness. It'll take care of you.